Hello friends, this is Shelly. I'm just popping on real quick to show you this new yarn that I bought. It's called Mainstays. Um, I was in Walmart looking for some Burnett Premium yarn and there was a lady there that was in the aisle and she was a crocheter and she picked, we got to chatting and she picked up this yarn and said, have you ever tried this yarn? And I said, no, as a matter of fact, I haven't. And uh, I said, I, and then I told her about circular knitting and wondered if uh, it would work in our machines. And, <laughs> and um, so, Anyways, long story short, I decided to pick some up. So I bought two balls of this, hoping that it would work. It's 285 yards, 260 meters. Okay, or five ounces. It's a four weight, 100% acrylic yarn. There is no color name on this, except for just the code here. But I have searched this label and cannot find a color, no matter how hard I try. So um, if you know the color of this, pop it down in the comments. <laughs> I'm sure if you went online, even to Amazon or whatever, and looked up Mainstays or where, just look up Mainstays website. Um, maybe, maybe they have color names. I have no idea, but that's, they should put colors. This needs to have a color name, but this is a variegated one. Um, and I thought I would pop on real quick to show you if it works in the machine. Okay. So I have my 22 needle Addy set up and I've started a project already that I won't tell you about because I'm going to post that in the near future. <laughs> So you'll have to just check in with my channel if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, do so. <laughs> okay, and um, I will show you how this yarn works so that if you have a Walmart close to you, you can run out and possibly get it or not. Stay tuned and we'll find out. <laughs> so I've got it all set up on my machine. I've already started working um, my rows and I have my tensioner in there and it's in the middle the middle loop, okay? But it would work great in the smaller tension hole as well, the tightest one but I'm using it in the middle one. I'm just gonna show you how it works. Now, I still always have my finger and my thumb on it. I'm not putting any tension on it, but I like to feel if there's a knot or something coming up so I don't break my um, tension or, or hurt anything there. So I always still, as habit, have my, my fingers over the end of the yarn just so I can, I can feel what's coming up, okay? But I have knit a lot of rows already. Well, not a lot, but a fair amount. And I haven't had one tuck stitch. I'm loving it. You know what I will tell you, as I'm showing you how it works, that um, it does feel a little bit coarser than yarn that I like to use in my machines. Um, but at the same hand, it doesn't feel as thick. So, for example, we always talk about how Red Heart, like you hear it in groups and everywhere, the Red Heart yarn does not work super saver because it's too coarse feeling. This one feels kind of like that, but even though it's a four weight yarn, it feels thinner to me. Like this, this strand feels a lot thinner, um, even again, being a four weight yarn. And so I think that's why it works in the machine. I've not had one problem. It's just working like amazing. So my friends, go out, head to Walmart, see if you can find this mainstay yarn, which is apparently a new yarn. It's inexpensive. Can't remember what I paid, but it's going to be different in whatever country or wherever you live. Um, I'm in Canada. I don't. I can't remember what it was. Four ninety nine or something. But um, it's not expensive, and it's beautiful. Let me just give you a little glimpse as to the colorway. I'm just going to hold it up just like this, just because I want to give you a little glimpse. It is gorgeous. Love, love, love it. Okay, so. Um, there you have it. So stay tuned to my channel because I'm going to be posting a project <laughs> in the near future and um, it will be on using it will be using this yarn and uh, and you'll want to see it. So there you have it my friends. Mainstays yarn is a success. Aren't we happy about that? All right happy knitting, happy crocheting, happy crafting. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Oh, and don't forget to hit that like button, please, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And come on over to my Facebook group, Koala Knits and Knacks. We'd love to have you over there.